All right, uh, we're going to talk about skinning deer legs today. I had several requests. Uh, I tanned up a bunch, most of them all sold, and you guys need to know how to do this on your own so you don't have to uh, get them from me. It's a very simple operation, and the deer legs are really cool for making uh, different things. We've got a couple different bags here uh, with the Duclaw hawk skin uh, bottom of the deer leg on them. And you can do something like this. They make some really cool German style uh, shooting bags with the, uh, the deer leg inserts in there. So that's a couple things that you can, uh, you know, there's other things you can do with them as well, but <clears throat> that's some of the things you can do. So we're going we're gonna to skin uh, a deer leg. And first thing I kind of want to tell you about the deer legs is uh, I keep them in pairs. Uh, just for things like those bags because they look nice if they're a pair off of the same deer front legs and back legs. The back legs have a, a, a scent gland on them that makes uh, just kind of a neat little uh, addition to that. The front legs are smooth they don't have uh, they don't have that uh, scent gland on them. So <clears throat> you want the dew claws together I've seen a few guys skin these where the dew claws, they split it on the back side of that leg and the dew claws are like way out to the side and you don't really want that. They look nice when they're close together. So what we're going to do is we're going to come right down the front of the leg, right into the, uh, to the hoof uh, area right there. And we'll skin this thing out. So I use a little hook knife, just makes it kind of a little bit easier. You don't have to do this. You can do it with any kind of knife. but. I'm just going to come right down the front of that leg, right down the center. Try to stay kind of in the middle because there's uh, a little bit of color right down. So there we go. Then I'm going to take a knife and just get it started. This one's just a little bit dry. It's a lot better if you can do these when they're fresh right off the deer. Uh, these have been laying around for a little while. Our hunting season ended a while back. So, uh, so I'm just going to get it started at the top here. The legs are, uh, you can, don't waste anything. The deer has a lot of, there's a lot of different uses for all the different parts on a deer. Uh, of course I tan hides and that's one of them, but in this lower leg here, not only do you have the hawk skin, um, you've got some sinew in there that guys use for bow backing. You can use the hoofs, uh, the deer toes for uh, bag poles and uh, rattles and different things like that. So don't, don't waste any of it, just use everything. Okay, so we get, <clears throat> we get that kind of started like so, and then I'm just going to move this over a little way, so just so you can keep me in the picture here. And what I do, this is just what I do, and you can uh, come up with a different plan or whatever, but I use a piece of bailing twine, just kind of make a loop and hook over that leg like that. <clears throat> and then you can just pull that right down, just like that, all the way down to the dew claws. And when you get down to the dew claws there, then you're going to have to go back to your knife again. And you're going to have to just carefully get in behind those dew claws. There's, they're pretty easy to find there. There's little, uh, little bones that stick up there and you can, you can find those. And then just come right on down. Just real careful with your knife because the leg skins are thin. They're real tough, but they're thin. So you can cut through them pretty easy if you're not careful. And as you cut, just keep pressure on there so it comes off easy. Okay, so when I get right to the top of the hoof, because I'm so close to my fingers with the knife, I kind of like to take a pair of vice grips and just get a hold of that. And uh, that way I can kind of keep my fingers out of the way. And and when I get to the top of that hoof, I'm just going to go right around the hoof. Just cut the skin free right around the hoof. OK, 
Okay, so we're cutting that pipe for you right around the hook, and then I'll switch to the other side here. The vice grips are just kind of finger savers, so you don't cut your cut your fingers when you get down there close. Across those pads on the back of the hoof there. Those are really tough, so if you kind of stay above them just a little bit, and there we have a hunk skin. <clears throat> now you have several options when you get to this point. Uh, there's a little bit of cleanup to do, not very much. There's just a few little uh, ligaments and things that kind of stick on here, but not much. Usually they come off pretty clean. And so you've got a real, real pretty little, little fox skin there. <clears throat> That's a rear leg. Remember the rear legs have that gland on them. And uh, if they're a little dirty or bloody or anything, I usually wash them real good and make sure they're clean. This one has a little bit of dried blood on it, not much. But Now you have a couple options at this point. You clean it, you can tack it out on a board and dry it. Uh, you can roll it up. I usually put them together like that and then just roll them up, put them in a baggie and throw them in the freezer and save them for later. If you want to, you can go right into the tanning process after you clean off these little ligaments and things that are hanging on there. You can mix yourself up. The, the easiest method for doing the hawk skins is an alum salt tan. And I, that's what I would recommend is the alum salt. And uh, you can go right into doing that right away. But, uh, you know, all you really need is uh, some deer legs. Uh, Get them out and make something really nice out of them. Uh, there's all kinds of different bags and things that you can make. Uh, these, <clears throat> the hooves are actually quite easy to get off. Uh, you can put that in a little bit of, uh, uh, you can boil them just uh, easily for a few minutes. And then I can usually get a hold of them and just give them a twist and pop them right off of there. You can also take a real sharp pointed knife and be very careful if you do this and you can run it down in between the, the hoof and the bone there. Just be careful that your fingers don't end up uh, in the way of that knife. And then you've got some big uh, uh, sinews here and the guys that build bows, uh, wooden bows, uh, I'll take that off so we can see it a little better here. So this is a big, a big sinew right here that's attached, and get that, get that one off of there. Maybe we will. A little bit dried right there at the top, and it comes down and forks down here by the. So that that can be worked into uh, fibers to back a bow with. There's another one right here on the back side of the leg. It's a good sinew. You can also use it for sewing wherever, uh, <clears throat> whenever uh, you need some primitive uh, sinew for sewing or wrapping arrowheads on to arrows or whatever. So there's, uh, you can use that leg bone. That leg bone can be made into various different tools. Uh, I've got some little uh, Skinner Flesher uh, tools that I've made out of these. You can take a piece out of that and use it as a scraper for hides. Uh, all sorts of things you can do uh, with the, uh, the bottom of a deer leg. So anyway, there we go. We've skinned the deer leg. Very simple. I want you guys to uh, get some deer legs and do this on your own. Then you don't have to uh, call me and spend your money uh, for mine that I do. Okay, that's it.